Welcome back everybody to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host T. How are we all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Naomi Osaka and her latest tweet talking about how she wishes that she had someone to watch the sunset with her. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe and let's talk in the comments. Sorry if you can hear the long guy outside. The grass is getting cut. So just please pardon him. I'm doing my best to try to, you know, like get away from that sound but anywho um let's talk about Naomi Osaka so she just had a kid with Corday, and some people are saying oh is sis lonely you know because she's talking about she wishes she just had the sunset with her like girl where your baby daddy at and me I'm thinking okay even if your baby daddy didn't turn trick girl you got a whole kid that you can watch the sunset with like what you tripping on you know like what's going on but this makes me think that clearly something else is going on i think naomi is a young woman who has been suffering with long-term depression she has come out talking about her mental health and things of that nature and things are going on with her so you know i i understand that she kind of suffers with that some people have um, mental health issues and a lot of us do anxiety depression but it seems like something with her is again it may be a little bit long term she may have a true mental health disorder and that is okay she needs to do what she needs to do for her own mental health i think other things that could be affecting her mental health as a young person who has you know achieved a lot myself and was kind of a high achieving student in school um an only child grew up an only child I think um, overachievers, overachievers do need time to rest. I think she probably puts a lot of personal pressure on herself, especially as I'm in her age group. Um, I'm just a little bit older than her, like, you know, not by much, but... Um, we people in our age group tend to want overnight success we tend to put a lot of personal pressure on ourselves have super high goals of ourselves looking at instagram and social media all day makes us over critique ourselves and makes us again have unreasonable unachievable expectations for ourselves so i think some of that could be affecting her mental health for sure it's affecting the mental health of millions of people in our age group and i think um she probably has imposter syndrome just like a lot of again high and high achieving people these are just things that I assume could also be adding to um, or could be factors of her long-term depression. Um, I am not a medical doctor. Um, I'm just a person who feels like I can empathize with some of her mental health struggles and um, I've lived it and I know it and I know other people who have too. So these are just things that could probably be affecting her, probably could be some of the things that are causing um, this mental health issue or if not adding on to it. Um, I think getting with Corday was not a good choice. Like she, you know, is... Of course, I think she's way too good for him. I think she has way too much going for her. She is a tennis star. You know, he is a, like, what? You know, we don't even, we don't know. Nobody knows any song by him. He is less than a rapper. And what incentive does he have to do anything when, you know, he's with this breadwinner? And I'm just thinking to myself, like, another young black single mom in the media, like damn like what is it are our young black girls really that lost again like i say this as somebody like in her age group i'm like who doesn't have any children i'm just like what is going on with naomi like why and a lot of these girls like you we see in it with holly which i think is um some occult stuff but when it comes to Naomi, I'm just like, why did she have this kid? Did she have this kid to try to fill a void, try to fill, a, you know, something within herself? Did she did it? Did she do it to try to keep this man around? And I just don't know. I'm like, where is her mama? Where are her parents? Like, where is her female guidance? Does she have an aunt, a cousin, a sister, um, a grandma? Like again, a mom? Somebody? Like, where is her father? Like, who is around her to give her some type of relationship guidance? Is she that rebellious to where she doesn't want their opinions and? Um, she doesn't listen to them and then she has to learn the hard way because that could be a very real reality too because I just don't understand how Naomi really did end up in a situation with Corday and now she's talking about she wishing she had somebody to watch the sunset with and it's just like Naomi like you didn't even have this to do 
Like, I don't understand why she wanted to have this baby so young and with somebody that she was not married to and with somebody who was not financially set. I just don't understand. I know that she got her own money, but it's like, girl, like, girl, you know that shit don't work. You know it don't work. Men have egos. Like, women have to understand. And, and this, is where, this is where a lot of women who make money go wrong. And I know it can be hard to find a good high-earning high man. But men do prefer to make more money because men are supposed to be the provider. They are. They're supposed to be the providers. They're supposed to be um, able to sh match your fly. And it's, a, it's an ego issue with them when they feel like you're better than them or, or whatever, because men are meant to be dominant. They're meant to be leaders. And it's a lot of women who try to turn boys into men and no ma'am, like these are not, these are not dolls where they're just, oh, batteries not included. You just get the batteries and you can, and you can make it work. No, 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 ma'am. He has to come fully equipped. Because when they don't come fully equipped, it becomes a problem. And I think that's really the root of the issue here. I think both of them are too young, first of all. Before I even get on money, because even if he was a rich trust fund baby, I think they are both too young to be trying to have kids. They are not married. And she was already going through mental health stuff. And she probably needed to work through more of that before throwing a child in the mix. So I just feel like it's a combination of things combined with Corday not being on her level financially because a lot of people are going to run and say that that's the main problem when not necessarily they both pretty young to be doing what they're doing so it's a lot of factors that add to the failure or what looks like the failure of their relationship or what looks like the some of the friction maybe going on between the two because she didn't took to the internet to express her feelings and I'm just only thing I can say is look like I want the best friend Naomi I like her I think she has a sweet soul about herself like whatever she's going through I'm wishing her the best I want healing and health upon this young woman but I want her to really focus on herself like Cynthia G is right when she says y'all all get the same black man and I know Naomi is half black herself but black men have a way about themselves Especially with this lack of wanting to get married and being cool with having all of these broken homes all over the places. That is typical black man behavior. And Naomi, you deserved better than that. And that's going to fall back on you trying to have better standards. I hope in the future you have higher standards. Because that's what you need to learn. I want you to have higher standards for yourself. And again, I can talk as a person that does not have any children. I don't have any children because I have not met someone who I think is worth having children with. And I've met plenty of wealthy guys who I could have had a child with. But I just was like, nah, not him. Because it has to be the right person. It's not about money. It's about the right person. Who's really going to be there. Who's really going to stick it out. Who's really going to come through and meet you where you're at and and gonna just be again be that person who's willing to take the long you know the long road with you so it's not a situation that you just do oh because I want a bag or oh because you know I got ulterior motives I want a light-skinned baby and you know I want cloud I want fame like every time y'all had these children for ulterior motives y'all end up kicking yourselves in the end every single time Jada Waiter, you could ask her. She was getting up there crying about having a kid by a little baby at one point. So y'all are going to learn. Stop having these children for ulterior motives. Children are blessings. And, you know, they need to be treated and regarded as such. I want Naomi to feel better and turn to her children. Girl, you better love your children. And because um, your child could watch the sunset with you. Because you have to really understand that. You know, again, men have the privilege of walking away. You need to love your children. And I just want her to focus on herself. I hope that she can get herself in, in enough shape to go back to work because I do want her to, I feel like she is not done with tennis. I feel like there's such a, there, she still has a lot of potential and she can go really, really far if she conquers her mental health issues. And I want to see that for her. So I hope that she turns to her children, loves herself, gets her own healing, goes back to work, fulfills her journey and just you know again fulfill her purpose in life overall like even past her career like as a person as a woman i want the best for naomi but that may not be with corday 
because it's not looking good. So let's talk in the comments what y'all think. Bye.